The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to help you, yes, you, find the things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is this week's Great Search? Okay, I'm glad you asked. So this week we did a little teardown of uh, like a little a dancing cactus friend. Um, and we found an audio playback chip inside of it that does uh, audio recording and playback. And it reminded me that when I was in school, it was very common um, to make projects. If you had projects that needed voice or audio clips or props, um, nowadays, you know, you can use uh, CircuitPython and you can maybe play audio through uh, your Teensy board or whatever. Um, and you can do MP3 playback in Arduino. But at the time, we didn't have chips like that. We had like 8-bit micros. And so what you did uh, was you use an ISD audio chip. And I was like, ah, you know, I should see if ISD audio chips are still around. And they are. And uh, there's quite a lot of them on DigiKey. And they do, uh, they have more options now. They have SPI control. They used to be only push button um, control. I thought I would I would show people these ISD audio chips. Um, they're, you know, fairly inexpensive and they're very easy to integrate. So if you want to make a project that just has audio and you don't want to like deal with microcontrollers and coding and and storage and files and stuff um they work really well and you can even uh program the flash directly so that if you have like existing audio clips um you program them so let's go to the GQ website okay um so originally these were called um isd chips but it, uh, the word isd is used like for a lot of different things um so i would call them like audio recording chips and i think they were called like voice record and playback so we'll actually look at the uh the whole category um so this category under integrated circuits interface voice record and playback has um a lot of options but they're actually all again isd chips so you know the the part number starts with isd and i think that they were from another company originally which I think again was called ISD, but they were purchased by uh, Nuvoton. I'm I'm actually not 100 percent sure about that, but I'm I'm pretty sure. And they're called the chip quarters. And again, these have been around since I was in school, so like it's been over you know 20 years. Um, but they were they're great. Uh, they were again originally designed. Um, I think they were designed for. Um, uh, shoot, what's the word? It's um answering machines right which like nobody knows about anymore but you know if for for those who are um zoomers and younger people would call you on the phone and then it would pick up the phone and it would say hello you reached you know lady ada's house leave a message beep and then you would be able to record the clips of the the message and then play them back when you got home um originally these used tapes uh which is a whole like thing where people would sell tapes with like cool uh voice greetings but um eventually they they right before they would have a business because everyone started having a uh, voicemail um they would have digital uh versions of answering machines and i think these isd chips were, were commonly used because some of these have like you know 30 seconds or 64 seconds but some of them have like 64 minutes um which is a lot so yeah i think that this is like 64 minutes that's like there's no greeting card, audio greeting card that has a 64 minute like epic poem that you have to say. I think that's I think that would be used for um, message storage and keeping. Uh, so that said, um, there's a couple different options of these. One thing that I do like is uh, well, let's go look at only the ones that are in stock. They're actively available and they're normally in stock, which is not which is not ton. There's like 500, but many of them are discontinued. Um, so what's neat is there's a couple, uh, new things. So first off, you know, just so you know, the sampling frequency is not, uh, that great. You know, they tend to go up to 12 kilohertz. They're really meant for voice. They're meant for that narrow band. Uh, voices tend to be about two to eight kilohertz. Um, so you're not going to get musical, good musical quality. They're also compressed. And from what I recall, it's not stored as in like true RAM. I think it's stored on like, um, like floating capacitive plates like it's a little bit like dynamic ram but um it but like it's lossy anyways 
uh, just it's not the the high quality and it's compressed and everything. But they do have things like built in speaker output, built in microphone input. Uh, so, you know, we can look at uh, let's look at one that has a microphone input so you can record the microphone easily. Some of them have I2S now, which they absolutely didn't have before. So let's do that. Um, there's one that has I2C, which I thought was neat. I'll just show that really quickly. Uh, again, this 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 version is, is new. Um, it's a it's a 28 dip, so it's a little pricey. But you know, if you don't want to even make a PCB, you can um, wire this up on a on a breadboard and just connect it up. It's got speaker output, it's got line output, and it's got I squared C control, microphone input. You know, they kind of just do everything on their own. Um, and then they have uh, buttons that you can use to control. Um, you can like record into each like memory slot and then have it play back. But let's um, let's not look at the interface because I squared C, although is is cool, is um, most people I think would use the the push buttons and stuff. And then we'll just you know sort by price and look at some of the options. Um, uh, you know you're gonna pay a little bit more uh, for the more um space that they've got i i do like the uh soic version vote uh versions of these um i think yeah one so the isd one series means it can play one uh channel but they do have um a version they do have versions of these are more expensive but they do multiple channels so let me scroll down so i think like the isd three which maybe I'd search for separately. Oh, you know what? I should have searched from within. Yeah, I saw ISD three. Or was it the ISD two? Hold on. It could be that they were not. Oh, you know what? They don't have the the microscope or the microphone input yeah the isd2 so you have to program it with spi it doesn't have a built-in microphone um but these are neat because they can do um multiple channels at a time yeah three channel concurrent playback um and up to 65 watts so you can actually have like multiple sound effects playing at the same time so again something that would be hard to do with a microcontroller you can do it but like this kind of does it all for you uh, so other than that, the microphone one, I, th I would recommend if you're going to start with these, get the microphone one, because it's kind of cool. You just plug the microphone right in and you can record immediately. Uh, so microphone input. And then I liked the SOIC. Oh, there's a dip version. This is going to be a little bit more expensive because they're they're rarer. Um, but you can get this dip version. I would get this, you know, the ISD 1740PY totally cool uh has 80 seconds of memory and then of course they go up to you know more 400 17 minutes i don't know like a full album basically um but uh the other package i would recommend you know if you don't mind doing a little soldering it's a less expensive is get the soic um you can get little breakout boards and i think the isd 1610 that's a good option 20 seconds so you can do little sound effects record and playback Let's look at the data sheet real fast. Whoa, this is not the data sheet. Oh, this is all the different uh, options. That's kind of cool, but that's not what I wanted. I guess this shows all the comparisons. So this is ISD AIU enabler, ISD one chip quarter family. Okay, so this shows you all the different uh, options. Oh, some of them have external flash. So you you put a uh, flash chip on there, um, much like it looks like this. Uh, Dancing Cactus uh, might do. This is what doesn't actually have a day sheet. This was the, the, the spec sheet. Um, but let me see. Yeah, this is the audio selection guide. One moment. Let me look up. Maybe this one has a data sheet. No, it doesn't. Okay. We'll have to. Maybe this one. Okay. Yeah, this series. Um, so, you know, you can look up the data sheet by Googling it through the Nuvoton site. Um, but do, 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 wait, there you go. Microphone input, um, and then buttons. So, you know, the buttons are, um, you know, playback and record 
and you can you know like press a button to hold and then you press like one of the io and you can record into that slot so you can have like six different looks like nine different slots in each one you can record into the slot kind of as much as you want and then play back and it just uh, records and plays back and then uh, just to be clear um when you turn off the power the memory is still there it's non-volatile memory it's not sram it's not quite flash but it's not DRAM or SRAM is kind of like somewhere in the middle. It lasts a long time, um, but it's I think it's <clears throat> slightly lossy. And then uh, looks like the whole family, each one has slightly different uh, pinout. But SOIC is pretty easy to use. So, you know, we use a breakout board if you want to get on a breadboard. I've made dozens and dozens of projects with these. Uh, it was my go-to because, again, at the time we had only 8-bit microcontrollers and you want to add audio, this was like the easiest way to do it. Which is why uh, Circuit Python playing audio was really important to me because I, I loved uh, making projects that had reactive audio, especially like you know capacitive touch, and then it played something, and the device would speak to you. Um, very common uh, interactive art. So uh, you want to get started checking out the chip quarter series? Uh, I would get the ISD sixteen ten, a good one to start with. And then, but check out. I mean, there's again dozens and dozens of them in the family, including uh, dip ones, if you want to go straight to a breadboard. That's a great search. Where is